video. So the last video I talked about how to use Terraform in Azure. So today I'm gonna do another provider, which is Databricks uh, provider. I have a workspace in my Databricks account in Azure, and I wanted to just show you how to use Terraform to deploy resources in Azure. So this provider uh, talks to the Databricks API, and pretty much some way to declaratively say what infrastructure you want deployed. So if you wanna know my introduction, explaining what Terraform is, you can watch my previous video, but this video here, I'm gonna talk about more about how to use Terraform to deploy a resource in Databricks. Get started. So I, here I have the, the provider and I'm just to simplify things, I'm gonna just deploy a cluster, which is pretty simple. So I have here a already an existing Databricks workspace. And the most important thing for any Terraform project is the authentication. So let's explain how it works. So the authentication happens if I go here and just put authentication. So it happens with the envir environment variables here on your profile. And then you set up when your Terraform uh, file which profile it's going to authenticate. And obviously this profile uh, token needs to be at least an admin on that um, workspace to deploy resources. So to get started, just let's create a new folder here. Okay, I'm here in VS Code. I'm just open the terminal on that folder. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a Terraform file called cluster. Um, you can call it anything you want, .tf. And then the first thing that you have to do to initialize Terraform uh, definition file, you need to say Terraform, and then you're gonna put the required providers. In this case, I'm going to use uh, Databricks. And it's going to be uh, source is going to be equals Databricks, not labs, it's Databricks, Databricks. And the version uh, that I'm going to use is 1.48.2. That was at least a couple of days ago. Let's see what's the latest one. 48 to, yeah, that's the same. So after that, you just need to declare the provider. In this case, it's Databricks. And I'm gonna pass one parameter here, which is profile, which is the profile that I'm going to authenticate. And then I'm just gonna call it the default profile. Now, so to set up your profile authentication, you need a token a personal access token or pad. And this token in the profile, you put into a file that's in your home directory called Databricks CFG. Oh, I need to open that, obviously. In VS Code. So that's a node token. I'm just gonna delete that. And first thing you have to put default at the top in uh, square bracket, and then you, you write host equals, and that host here is on your workspace, is this one, not the URL, copy this, and then on the token, you need to get into your workspace, Inside your workspace, you click your name here, go to settings, developer, access token manage. I'm just gonna delete those here that I was showing. I'm gonna generate a new one. I'll call it Terraform. You can call it anything you want. 
I'll put just for one day, January, copy, and paste. Save, close. Just to check if the profile is configured correctly, you can do a uh, bricks auth profiles. And then the profile default says yes, that's the same word. Now let's just write a cluster. So I'm just gonna define some variables here. I'm gonna copy those from, from here and then it's gonna be quicker. So I'm gonna create like cluster name, cluster alt termination in minutes, number of workers and data security mode. Cause I wanted to have a cluster that connects to my uh, unit catalog. And then the node type, I'm gonna put another uh, data risk node type. It's gonna be the smallest one because just a demo. The Spark version is gonna be the latest one. And let's write the cluster definition together. So you put like the resource and then the name of the resource is data bricks. And data bricks cluster, this one. And then the name, you can, I can call it this, just that object. And then the cluster and name is going to be this variable here, cluster name. Um, and then node type ID is going to be data. And the operational type smallest. Uh, that bricks no type. No, that bricks no type smallest ID. And then that's ID. What's complaining about here? Um, Spark version. Is going to be data dot uh, data bricks part version latest LTS ID. Now uh, the next one is the auto termination in minutes. It's another parameter, and I'm getting that from the variable. Um, this one. Next one is number of workers, which I'm going to get that from the var. Uh, obviously, this one. Add data security mode, it's going to be from the var. Data security mode. And then I'll put tags, custom tags, and then you can open another object and then key value pair. I can put by admin, uh, needs to be in quote, admin, it's gonna be myself. Let's say Pedro CJ at gmail.com. All right, I think I've got everything right. Uh, and then that's bracket here. So let's put an output. Uh, that's going to be cluster URL and that's going to be a value close that will be cluster this URL. Cool. Yeah, that's about it. So let's initialize that. Let's see if I have the file. First, I need to I'll create like um, a vars file. Just copy this. So this is the variables uh, that I'm gonna pass. So a var file should be something like that. So I'm gonna call it Terraform cluster, termination 20 minutes, number of workers one, and then the security mode is single. 
cluster. So with that, we can do a Terraform. Just if you don't know how to install Terraform CLI, look at my other video, I've got the link for that. So you do a Terraform init to initialize your project. Make sure that it downloads everything from the website, the providers, and so it's green, looks good. And then you do a, a Terraform plan. Uh, there is something wrong here. So the object has no argument. Line 42. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This Dibrix cluster. Oh. I think it needs to be URL. Let's try again. Looks good. Now, let's apply it. I'll do a data bricks, not data bricks, terraform, apply, output lay, auto approve. And then bang. So start the creation. Yeah, start the creation. So if I click here, so it says plot policy, I didn't put anything, but it's a single user. Uh, user access is me, it's a unit catalog one. Uh, that's the latest Spark version. It's one worker. Uh, that's the minimal compute. And there is a tag at me. So that's pretty much it. And also termination after 20. So let's wait for that to complete. Yes, it's complete. So let's check. Yeah, it's here, it's running. So, good. So to destroy it, it's pretty quick. You can do first a Terra. Terraform plan. And then you can do a destroy to see what's gonna be destroyed. If you really destroy, it's gonna be one node destroy. Ah, here's the URL of the cluster, the output. So let's try. Terraform. Destroy. I'll do it out proof, and then they don't need to ask me why. Uh, if I want to really delete or destroy. And on. I go here, it's gone. Alright guys, uh, again, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like the video. See you next time.